Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. It's Sturge playing a little Seven Days to Die in my uh, basement of my cabin in the woods. Doing a little bit of mining. Pick up some clay soil so I can make cobblestone for the eventual base I'm going to build. And then certainly we'll need it for upgrading and, uh, and the like. So yeah, just about to uh, finish up here. Morning is coming along in just a few seconds. And I plan to get to the trader today as quickly as possible. I'll make that happen. Oh, I love that sound. It's so refreshing. No zombies tried to attack overnight, thankfully, and I have collected a tremendous amount of clay soil and stone. So cobblestone should be at like six or eight hundred by the end of the day. But let's get moving on. Let's get to that trader and uh, see what we can come up with. Looks like I got a zombie up ahead here. Let's take a shot at this guy. Practice my bow skills, my hunting skills, zombie hunting skills. As it, that, that was a terrible shot. Uh, that was a second terrible shot. Why don't we uh, get a little closer? No? No? Do. Oh, it's baptization zombie. He's baptizing himself. Is that possible? I don't know. I'm just going to run by. I'm tired of this damn zombie... Uh, I don't know, water zombie? This is this like Water World with Kevin Costner or something like that? They just, he's dead? All right, gotta go to the trader. And it's a long hike. Looks like we're gonna cross into the, uh, into the desert biome a little bit. Which, but I think we have plenty of another zombie. I'm not, I'm not gonna fight zombies along the way if I can help it. I just want to get to the trader, see what's available, get that point, and, uh, and then try to find a base. Almost there, uh, right, right around 100 meters. What do we got here? A little town it straddles the uh, desert in temperate biomes. Go search that. I don't. I don't really want to build my uh, horde base in the, or even close to the desert biome. Even though maybe I should do that because of the yucca juice, but I'm going to go through it anyway pretty quickly. One, I'll learn how to make yucca seeds, and or pick them up eventually. There's the trader. All right, uh, running out of stamina. We get this point so we can get sexual sexual tyrannosaurus there's that telltale thump yeah gotta get this point finish up the uh the basic quest line and then head out and uh well find a nice poi to build your horde base the slip and slide horde base which is gonna be pretty cool when i get there no nothing there that was, uh, i love to search everything uh, there we go Alavera seed. Pretty nice. I don't have to collect this much. I'll build a farm early on. But let me do some searching around here and then we'll go into the trader. Right, what can we find in this place here? It's like a workbench. And it is a functioning workbench. Nothing in it. Oh, that's great. Couldn't take it apart anyway, but now we know there's a workbench. What else is in this place? Oh, well, there's a zombie. We got a friend. Well, let me see what's out front here. We got uh, a functioning forge. That's nice. There we go. Ooh, uh, motorcycle handlebar schematic. Wow, we're finding good stuff. That'll help. I'd like some lucky looter type books, but, yeah, well, you know. We need to mark his motorcycle sooner. We've got the schematic for the handlebars. Let's go talk to the trader here. I think it's Trader Jane. Come speak with yeah, me. With a very deep voice. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what we have. That is uh, that done. Oh, that hunter's journal is good in the SMG schematic. Oh, I wish I had 1,600 ducats. Man, look at that. Even the iron reinforced club schematic is good. Man, look at all this. I gotta sell some stuff. Boy, what am I going to do here? I just, I'm not going to come up with enough money, am I? Well, there just wasn't anything I could buy. She, uh, Trader Jen here just doesn't have, have what I need. So I'm going to maybe pick up a quest. Let's see what we've got here. 
Maybe this, what is this one? The nearest one is Clear Zombies, 275 I'm meters to the southwest. Person. God bless you, and good luck. Yeah, I'm going to need the luck, there's no doubt. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a lot of clearing right now. I don't have a lot of ammo for my shotgun, and I'm pretty pissed for with a club, as we've noticed so far. So I'm not doing that. I'll, I'll go check out this POI, and then I think it's uh, better to just head on and keep hunting. Keep hunting for a place to build a base. Oh yeah, that was good. Well, I said I was bad with the club. Every once in a while, I get a I get a lucky shot in, you know, just like that. Yeah, and this damn vulture, he's driving me nuts. I think this vulture is confused though. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna get blast this thing or not. It really hasn't come close to me. Out of heck with it. Let's just get to the. Let's go and see where this. Uh, uh, can I see it on the map? I'm not quite sure. Oh, hello. You just hang, you were the one hanging out back, beating on the wall, weren't you? Ooh. Whoops. Whoop. There we go. All right, let's get there. All right, this looks like the uh, the quest the Trader Jen gave me. There's the house. Kind of dilapidated, broken down business. I think I know this one. Ooh, workbench. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do this right now. Well, I'm just going to speed through here and just see what's here. Kind of uh, reconnoiter the area. And then uh, we'll keep going after our, our goal of finding a POI. quite get how blood can splurt out of a uh, burned zombie. It just doesn't quite make sense. And there are things in this game that just don't make sense. So be it. It's about a quarter to noon here at my little cabin in the woods. I'm going to cook up some water, like um, some yucca juice, unburden myself and my inventory. Just bring along with me what I need to, uh, to survive the night. I'm hoping I don't have to come back here. I'm hoping we find exactly what we're looking for in this city, as well as lots of good and luscious loot. Ooh, it looks like we've got the backside of a medium-sized passing gas. A little loot pile on the roof there with probably a vulture or two. We can come back there later. That's uh, it's good to know that that's here on the edge of town. Maybe we can get some bicycle parts, motorcycle parts, mini bike parts, something out of there. There's this triple uh, POI to my left. Am I gone? Nah, not gonna work. That's just not gonna work for a base. That building's too big. That building is destroyed. Yeah, this building is destroyed. Ooh, is that a poppin' pills? It is. Well, we'll have to come and explore the poppin' pills later. That is also not going to function as a good base. Actually, it might be a good base. Uh, it is a two-story with a... But you kind of want to knock that front off uh, so you could shoot down on the zombies. And uh, Shotgun Messiah, that's nice. The warehouse storage, nice also. You never know what you're going to find in there. But yeah, I, I just none of these fit the, the tall, slender Carl's Books bill. That's what we're looking for. This little house here, if I remember correctly, has a nice loot room right off to the edge here that you can just dig down one or two blocks, and there are only three zombies in the loot room, and you can bypass the rest of the... Uh, yeah, that, that's the place. Yeah, little bunker underground. 
Cool. Oh, I'm gonna definitely gonna go there. And well, that'll be that'll be great for uh, something. It's got wow. It's got a lot of medical supplies too. Got to keep that in mind. I think I see it. Right up here on the left, on the corner. No zombies around. Let's get through the trees and see. We're gonna have to clear this. Yeah, yeah. Two stories, attic, nice loot room. Oh yeah, look at that. Symmetric. Oh man. This might be the perfect place. I don't think I've ever cleared this PO. I have no idea what's in here. I'm gonna eat, drink, and be merry uh, after I kill all the zombies in this place. And we're running out of time, so I gotta get this POI cleared. This will be the place we spend the night, regardless of what we do. Uh, but I think this will work. So let's get in there and clear it. I think I'm gonna quickly lay down a storage chest out here. I made one earlier so that I could do this and just sort of divest myself of all of this encumbering crap. Where's a good spot? Yeah, probably right by the door here. We gotta run away and get back in later. Let's just put it right here, sort of offload all this crap, and then I can go in inside and clear it. That, that should work pretty well. That should be... Oh, one more. This is the last one. Let's finish this off. At least that's the last one in the attic, and I'm pretty certain I cleared everything downstairs. All right. 2,100 hours. Not bad. We got to clear just in time. Eat a little food. I got beat up a lot, though. Man, that's just not good with this club. Really needed that iron club schematic. Well, we have a POI, and all we have to do is clean it up and make it our own. And we can overnight here. I'm sure we're going to be safe up in the attic here. Uh, I'll, I'll go block off the entrances downstairs and clean up a little bit and search everything and get all the loot that I need. And come tomorrow, we're going to upgrade this place and make it our very own slip and slide horde base. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm having a real good time making this. Uh, actually, I had a lot of fun playing this game. I can't help myself. It just takes hours and hours and hours of my time. And then it takes hours to edit the video. But, you know, it's sort of like reliving your adventures of getting the crap beat out of you by zombies. So thank you all for watching. This is Sturge, signing off.